I'd like to talk to you about a couple of technology education courses available through the WJCC schools. The Project Lead the Way Introduction to Engineering Design and the Principles of Engineering. The Introduction to Engineering Design is the first level class available for students 9 through 12. It teaches problem solving skills along with the basic concepts used in engineering and through a variety of hands-on projects and modeling software that we use in the activities. Uh, the students are exposed to all these concepts that will allow them to be able to demonstrate their, their problem solving skills and the documentation processes involved. So in the uh, examples here you can see that there is a page from an engineering notebook that shows the, the whole process that the students had gone through about a problem solving activity of building a paper bridge based on materials given to them and the solutions they came up with. The course also covers how to create the technical drawings, in this case a detailed drawing of a single part, being able to be able to build that part. And later on, they'll take the variety of those parts of the puzzle design that they have and model them and show how they come together in animation. And once that's done, we have an example of testing the prototype by having another class see if they can solve that problem and take the timing and see how long it takes to be able to do that. A different project is shown in the brainstorming ideas area. Uh, this is a collaboration of another class where they had to take a storage container or shipping container and be able to repurpose it for another reason so they save the the wastefulness in the environment so you can see the students from both classes coming up sitting around and coming up with ideas that they may have engineering class has students address problems to create viable solutions in the areas of engineering systems, thermodynamics, fluid systems, electrical systems, and control systems. They learn to apply the physics concepts with hands-on activities with both non-destructive and destructive testing to see results of their designs. Here we have some examples of some activities that have been done in the past. We have a robot design activity that the students design a robot arm to solve for specific criteria and a documentation that is provided of the students process that they have gone through. We have an activity where they apply concepts of simple machines putting into one device having multiple simple machines to solve for a given problem. Another problem represented here is the marble sword lab where they are provided a collection of marbles of various sizes and materials and they have to have a device to be able to sort based on those various elements. And last but not least, we have a trust design lab here that is representing where they're applying the physics concepts and the materials of the trust and determining what are the results. And then they do a destructive testing to see if it falls along with their calculations. So hopefully these are interesting to you and we'll see you in the future.